Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to tutorial number six in Avid Media Composer. In this tutorial we're going to look at drag and drop editing in Avid uh, which is particularly useful for montage edits and montage building. Before we do we need to set a few things up to make sure we have a good efficient speedy drag and drop edit in Avid. So I'm going to ask you if we can just to go to tools Command Palette, File, Settings, click on User, so under Settings, click on User, go to Keyboard, the one that's been ticked, and on your keyboard, I would recommend, okay, let's close that down, so under the Command Palette, if you can go to Edit, the Edit tab, and there's two that are going to be useful. Select to the left and select to the right. And I would recommend patching those to the A and the S keys. So to the left, pull onto A. To the right, pull onto S. Close those down. A couple of other things that are worth setting as well. Uh, let's do a right click in the timeline. Go to timeline settings. And under edit, make sure you've got segment drag snap selected default segment tool I would recommend putting that on segment insert lassoing transition I put that on segment mode and select the dynamic lasso when you've done that click on OK right so let's get to work we do want to do a little montage sequence this is something that's being prepared in a kitchen and we could use the method of in-out and insert editing, which we did for the drama sequence. But I think on this occasion, drag and drop could work perfectly well. So let's find the footage uh, and let's just start dragging and dropping. So we're going to start with uh, the blender here. And we're just going to go for the material being poured in the blender. I, mark an in point. Then out point. Going to grab the clip and just drag it into the timeline. There's my first clip. I'm going to go forward a bit more. Have the lid been put on. In point. Out point. Grab the clip. Clip it in. Then let's have the blender being turned on. In point. Out point. Drag. Okay, uh, let's go for one more clip. I've got four I'm going to use. Let's go to the start with this one. And let's have in point there. Out point, grab and drag. It's that simple. So um, I'm going to now build the sequence. I'll see it at the end. And then we'll have a look at moving those segments around in the timeline using segment mode. And there we have a sequence that's been built very quickly using drag and drop methods. And I'm just going to press a command left bracket just to zoom out a bit. And there's our sequence. So if we want to move any of these clips around, um, we've got a button over here called segment mode. Now at the moment, I've got segment mode disabled. And as we know from the editing we've done in a previous tutorials, you can't grab clips. If you try and physically grab them, Avid won't let you. Avid is really built for in and out points insert editing, overwrite editing, and three-point editing. But if you want to activate a more drag and drop and move method, click on segment mode. If I do a right click on it, there's two types of segment mode. I'd leave it on the red one, which is lift and overwrite mode. If you're sort of new to this and just getting to grips with it, leave it just on the red one. I'd say that's the best thing for you. So what it means we can now do is we can actually click on these clips, grab them, and actually move them around the timeline to start to rearrange them. Um, if you leave, try the yellow one, but I would recommend if you're used to Premiere and you're used to just moving things around like so and creating those gaps, I would leave it on just the red one, which is lift and extract segment mode. And as you can see, I can grab these, move them around just like we would in Premiere, nice and efficient. If you want to move clips in chunks, you can use your lasso tool you can drag around a bunch of clips like so and move them like so. If you deselect them and want to get rid of those gaps, I'm going to sort of leave my time marker there. Press T to select the gap. X, the gap's gone. T, 
and then X, the gap's gone. The A and S tools are useful as well if you want to move chunks of clips. If I leave my time marker here and press S, it selects all the clips to the right, like so. Or if I leave my time marker here and press A, it selects all the clips to the left. And I can move those in a big chunk as well. And again, if I want to get rid of that gap, deselect what you've got selected, press T in the gap, then press X, and the gap's gone. Once you've got your sequence arranged in the order that you'd like, you can use some of those tools that I demonstrated in tutorial 3 to make some further refinements. So as an example, let's say I wanted to just trim uh, the beginning of this clip. I can press Q. That will trim to the left. Let's now press play. And if I wanted to say add some time to the edit here, I'm going to press U to go into trim mode. P to select the left part of the edit. And I'm going to press L to add some time. There you go, that'll do. Then press Y to come out of trim mode. Let's say I want to extend that edit as well. That's going to be quick. So I'm going to then just press U one more time to go into trim mode. I'm going to press P because I want to adjust the left side of the edit. And I'm going to press L. There we go. Press Y to come out of trim mode. Let's press play here. If I feel that this one is a little long, I want to trim this bit here. I want to get rid of this portion. I'm going to press W, which will then trim to the right of the time marker. And let's have a look at this one. Let's just do another example. Let's say I wanted a bit more of the lid being put on. I'm going to press U once more. I'm going to press right bracket. So I want to adjust the right side of the edit. And I'm going to press J to add some time. There we go. Then press Y to go back to normal source record mode. And I think that's about it really for drag and drop editing in segment mode and refining a montage. I'll see you in the next tutorial.